Question 9. A circle is inscribed in a rhombus which has a diagonal of length 90 and area 5,400. What is the circumference of the circle? Okay, mas madaling isolve ito ng general case. So, ang general case ay ganito. So, given any rhombus, kapag meron tayong, so meron tayong dalawang diagonals, okay, so D1, and D2, and para mas simple yung ating notation, half ni diagonal 1, ay tatawagin natin A. So, ito. So, diagonal, so, alam natin na pag the diagonals bisect each other and they are perpendicular. So, itong diagonal 1, diagonal 1, pag kinalahati natin yan, tawagin natin yung A1. Or A na lang. So, this is our A. At ito ay, of course, A din to. Kasi congruent naman yung dalawa. Okay. Tapos, si other diagonal, so, si D2 naman, ganun din. So, si diagonal 2, kalahatiin natin. So, this is diagonal 2. Pantay ang dalawa. These two are congruent. So, tawagin natin yung isa ay B. Yung kalahati. So, tawagin natin itong B. Okay. And, lastly, ito ay kaya natin i-compute. So, ito ay itong third segment, this one, the side of the rhombus, yan, yan ay kaya natin i-compute dahil ito ay right triangle lang. So, by the Pythagorean theorem, yan ay si a squared, a squared, plus b squared, tapos kunin na lang yung square root. Okay. So, taka si b. Okay. Okay, what's the magic trick? Ang... Totoo to sa lahat ng ganitong drawing, sa so pag mayroon may kang rhombus, ang cir inscribed circle, ang radius niya ay yung height nitong isang triangle. So, pakitandaan na yun, draw the height. So, kung ito yung height, that will be the radius of the circle. At lahat yan, ay lahat ng height na pwede mong makuha, pwede mong i-drawing para maging guide siya sa pag-drawing ng circle. So, yan ay height. So, for this triangle, congruent yung apat na triangles na yan eh. So, this will be our height. Dito naman, oh, edi, imagine na lang paano mabubuo yung right angle from this center. So, ito siya. Ayan, that's a right angle. At ganun din dito. So, itong apat na points na ito, yan ay point sa circle. So, pwede natin gamitin guide yan pang drawing ng circle. So, something like that. Okay. So, ang tanong na lang ay, what is H? Okay, so napanood natin sa previous video, sa question 4 yata yun, uh, we can solve for H using by solving for the area of one triangle. So, itong triangle na ito, just solve for the area in two different ways. Okay, so again, what's one way? One way is to use A and B. So, one half, base, our base is A, ito yun, A, and the corresponding height will be this, B, kasi perpendicular yan. So, A times A times B. Tapos, isa pang pwedeng gawin to solve for the same area ay kunin, ito, 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 ito yung triangle natin, di ba? So, ang pwedeng maging base ay ito naman. That will serve as our base. So, one half. Ang ating magiging base na isa ay yon the square root thing. So, yan ay square root of a squared plus b squared. At ang corresponding height kung yan ang base ay ito, our h. Or tawagin na lang natin R, kasi yan yung magiging radius ng ating circle. Times R. Okay, let us solve for R. Hindi madali na lang, multiply both sides by 2. So, mawawala ito. Tapos, ito ay bababa. So, our R, it is simply, R ay may iwan dyan, AB over the square root of A squared plus B squared. And that is true in general. So, kapag alam na natin yan, di madali na lang itong problem na ito. So, paano siya isasolve using this idea? Meron daw tayong diagonal of length 90. So, kung ang diagonal of A ay length 90, so, in our case, ang isa sa mga half ng diagonal natin, kung ang diagonal ni ICD, 90 divided by 2 ay 45. Okay, how about B? Hindi siya binigay. Pero binigay sa atin yung area ng rhombus. So, remember, ang area ng isang rhombus, 
ay 1 half d1 times d2. So, ang ating area ay 5,400 times 1 half. Ang isang diagonal ay 90. So, missing yung isang diagonal d2. Okay, edi cross-multiply na lang. So, angat ito. Uh, again, do not multiply. I kung pwede mag-cancel muna, i-cancel muna. So, ang angat si 2, mawawala to. Kasi 90 naman ay pupunta sa baba. So, cancel common factors muna. Ito. So, ang matitira ay 60. 60 times 2 ay 120. Therefore, the other diagonal is 120. So, kung yung ating other diagonal ay 120, half of that is 60. Okay. So, eto na. Pwede na natin gamitin si R. Pero, isasolve ba natin tong gagamitin ba natin to to solve for the for this thing? Sana hindi. Kasi medyo malalaki yung numbers na yan. 45 squared plus 60 squared tapos square root. Medyo mahirap. I hope you recognize na ito ay Pythagorean triple. So, sana maalala natin ang Pythagorean triple. And it is the Pythagorean triple 3, 4, 5 multiplied by 15. Tama, no? Kasi 15 times 3 ay 45. 15 times 4 ay 60. Therefore, the hypotenuse is automatically 15 times 5 or 75. This thing is 75. Hindi mo na siya kailangan isolve. Kung wala kang tiwala, pwede mo siyang i-check. The square root of quantity 45 squared plus 60 squared magiging 75 lang siya. Okay, so that's it. So using the formula, the is 45 times 60 over 75 na lang. So that will be the radius of our circle. Again, don't multiply. Cancel whenever possible. So a common factor is 15. Ang matitira dito ay 5. Dito ay 3. So ito naman. Ang matitira, common factor is 5. Matitira ay 12. So, therefore, the radius is 3 times 12 or 36. Pero circumference yung hinahanap. So, circumference ay 2 pi r lang. So, very easy. Ito lang ay 72 pi. So, that's our answer.